Hello guys today in this video, we are going to help you to find out the best ball heads for tripods in market. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their quality, durability, customer review and more. If you want to see their price and find out more information about them, you can check our links in the description below. Number 10. Enduro BHD2 Ballhead Enduro makes the first entry on our list of the best ballhead for tripod reviews with their BHD2. This is another great option for those looking to step up their photography game. If you are, then you need a solid tripod, and the head should be highly adjustable and secure. Any slip, no matter how slow, will affect your images. That's why Enduro crafted this unit with oversized lock knobs. These oversized lock knobs are super easy to adjust, even when you have gloves on. There is an adjustable manual drag control to compensate for those longer, heavier lenses. Plus, there is an independent 360 degrees pan control, which is perfect for shooting those beautiful panoramic images. Number 9. Benro B2 Double Action Ballhead Benro makes the second entry on our list of the best tripod ball heads. Their B2 is a double action ball head, making it another great option for the budding photographer. Yes, and no. It's certainly one of the best options for those looking to use large, heavy telephoto lenses. This is because it can hold a load of up to 35 pounds, which should cover any photography setup you might come across. Plus, it weighs less than a pound this makes it ideal for taking with you no matter how far you plan to walk to capture that perfect shot. Even better, if you like shooting panoramas, this head is equipped with a graduated panning scale. This will help you achieve accurate image alignment. Number 8. Newer metal tripod head The amount of value you get with this shoestring budget ball head is seriously impressive. It's well constructed and able to handle a payload of up to 8 kilograms, which is more than enough for most serious setups. Advanced photographers and videographers may find themselves surprised by how well this head works for the money. You've got three adjustment knobs, a quick-release plate and vertical horizontal spirit levels for accurate setup and shooting. The head feels strong for the price, far from the kind of plasticky rubbish you might expect. It's not the strongest head on this list, nor the most sophisticated, but in terms of sheer value for money, the newer metal tripod head is pretty much unbeaten. Need a spare head, or a simple one to throw into a travel bag and take on your adventures? This is the one to go for. Number 7. Manfrotto 494 Center Ball Head Keeping things simple doesn't mean compromising on quality. You may just need an unfussy ball head that works but still want the reassurance of a trusted brand. Step forward the Manfrotto 494 center ball head, which comes at a great price but still offers that Manfrotto dependability. It can support up to 8 kilograms of kit, and offers panoramic and friction control knobs for easy, intuitive operation. This version comes with the 200PL Pro Quick Release Plate, and the head has an integrated RC2 Quick Release Chemlock. The aluminium construction is lightweight but reasonably hardy, and there's a dedicated tension control dial for the ball and socket movements. Number 6. Vanguard Alta GH-300T and now for something a little different. You won't find many pistol grip ball heads around, but Vanguard Alta GH-300T is more than just a gimmick. By adding a handle you get significantly more leverage and control when adjusting your camera, compared to holding it directly. The handle helps you counterbalance the weight of a heavier lens that doesn't have its own tripod mounting foot, and it can be useful when panning video, or shooting stills for stitched panoramas. Although the ball at the heart of the, the GH-300T isn't particularly large, the extra leverage offered by the handle easily compensates, and helps keep subtle movements smooth, even when lots of friction is applied. Our only niggle is the ball's locking lever becomes increasingly difficult to engage when additional friction is applied. Completing the pistol illusion is a small yellow trigger button. At the base of the handle is a 2.5mm socket, which can link the trigger to your camera's remote shutter input. The only major drawback with a pistol grip head is its additional size, which will leave it protruding from a folded tripod. Number 5. Gitzo Series 5 Off-Center Ball Head GH5750QR at 14.2cm tall and weighing in at a hefty 1kg, the Gitzo Series 5 off-center ball head is quite a beast. 
It's to be expected though, as the head comes from Gitzo's Pro Orientated Series 5 range, and is rated to support 12 kilograms. But what you lose in portability, you gain in usability. The oversized quick release mounting plate and release lever offer unmatched ease of use, as do the large diameter pan and tilt locking knobs, both of which exude luxury. The size of the tilt knob also helps you to dial in just the right amount of friction. The unusual off-center ball positioning allows for a much greater range of movement than a conventional ball head, especially if you want to shoot straight up or down. The separate fore-aft tilt motion also adds a degree of stability not present on a typical ball head, and though the tilt knob releases both the tilt mechanism and the ball, you can tilt without releasing the ball as the locking knob disengages the tilt element first. There's no hiding this tripod ball head's bulk though, so if the off-center design appeals, try Gitzo's significantly lighter Series 2 version. Number 4. Benro GX35 Low Profile Ball Head Despite weighing only 400g, the Benro GX35 is able to support a whopping 35kg of camera gear, with extra stability assured by the relatively large 40mm diameter ball. There's a dedicated panning lock for the rotating base of the head, along with a numbered degree scale to assist with shooting accurate multi-shot panoramas. What's more, a secondary panning axis above the ball adds even more panorama versatility. An Arca-Swiss compatible mounting plate maintains easy cross-compatibility with other Arca-based tripods or monopods you may have, while the eye-catching design is supplemented by nice ergonomic touches like the knurled metal locking knobs. Number 3. Three-Legged Thing Airhead Pro Although they tend not to come as cheap as other options, Three-Legged Thing's ball heads and tripods have a reputation for exceptional carrying capacity and stability. It's well-deserved. The Airhead Pro is the firm's flagship ball head, able to handle a whopping 40 kilograms of kit without issue. It is milled from aircraft-grade magnesium alloy, meaning it's not only strong but also lightweight, weighing just 323g. It comes with an integrated 360-degree clamp that allows for smooth panning even on bumpy terrain, and its quick-release plate is Arca-Swiss compatible. It's an extraordinary piece of kit that does everything you need from a ball head and more, and while it is definitely more expensive than other contenders on this list, we'd add that the Airhead 360 represents absolutely fantastic value for money. Two product options are available, the standard Airhead Pro which has a knob to release the QR plate from the head, and there's the Airhead Pro lever which, you v guessed it, uses a lever release instead. Both versions have the same asking price. Number 2. Vanguard Alta BH-300 It's inexpensive for a big brand tripod head, but the Alta BH-300 is still rated to support a whopping 30 kilograms of kit. Build quality also feels reassuringly robust, although on close inspection we did spot the gray finish wearing slightly thin around the friction knob of our test sample. Such a hefty payload capacity does mean this isn't the most portable option, tipping the scales at 600g and measuring 119mm tall, but the overall shape is slim and should sit comfortably within a tripod with flip-up legs. The relatively compact quick-release top plate helps with this, yet it still sports two useful, easily visible bubble levels, and maintains Arca compatibility. Vanguard's chunky, rubber-covered locking knobs are all very easy to grip, though the conventional friction adjustment dial isn't quite as tactile as Manfrotto's clicky design. We've got no complaints when it comes to smoothness, however, as the decent-sized ball with its oxidized anodized finish operates as smoothly as you could want, at any friction. Number 1. Manfrotto XPRO Magnesium Ball Head with Top Lock Plate At first glance Manfrotto XPRO Magnesium Ball Head with Top Lock Plate Ball Head doesn't look particularly special, but there's more than meets the eye. The magnesium construction is rated to support 10 kilograms, enough for almost any full-frame setup, yet the head tips the scales at a reasonable 520g. At its heart is a fairly large ball for good stability, and its grease-free polymer housing enables exceptionally smooth movement, even with a lot of friction applied. The friction is set using a tactile, clicky wheel that's better than most systems for dialing in a precise level of drag. Rather than using rubberized or knurled knobs, the ball and pan movement is tightened using levers that lock securely with minimal user effort. The XPRO ball head can be specced with several mounting plate designs. We went for the top lock system which is Arca-Swiss compatible, with the QR plate released using a simple but effective button. 
The top plate is surrounded by three individual bubble levels for precision camera leveling, and they're all viewable with your camera mounted.